Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala slipped on the floor, got up slowly. We've had a bunch of guys go down tonight. Now you would you would think a really good Clippers set coming off a timeout, having not scored. We'll see what Tyron Lou draws up. But if you're the Warriors, you got to be dialed in on this possession. Bledsoe will bring the ball up. Jackson in the near corner. Paul George cuts from the far corner, leaving man guarded by Draymond. George to try to come back, denied by Wiggins. Hand off Bledsoe. Bledsoe brings it back up top to Jackson. Shot clock at five. Jackson on the logo. Guarded by Damian Lee. Waves everybody away. Takes a deep three. In and out. Tipped away. Curry comes back to get the rebound. How many rebounds a, a week does he get by just coming back to the ball? Yep. Back to the rim. Just pursue it. Yep. Draymond's Curry cuts through, leaves it for Damian Lee. Draws a crowd, stops, we have a whistle and a foul. As cutting away was Porter Jr. This will be the fourth team foul on the Clippers. And I want to give Wiggins some love for that last defensive possession because that was actually a pretty nice play Tyron Lou Tyron Lou drew up. It was supposed to be Paul George going out and then cutting back really quick and getting the ball underneath the bucket. And Wiggins sniffed it out and was physical with him and didn't let him do it. So they didn't really have anything after that. That's why Jackson ended up taking a 25-footer. So nice job by Wiggins. Draymond takes the pass from Curry. Curry fakes Paul George, dribbles left. Bounce pass over to Wiggins. Wiggins down the lane, throws it back to Damian Lee with five to shoot, takes a three. Damian Lee on his birthday. Knocks down a big bucket to give the Warriors a four-point lead. Watch. Here's a dribble drive by Bledsoe. Finds Morris, left wing, triple. Doesn't get it back. Curry defensive rebound with Jackson on his back. 12-0 Warriors run. Lee. Guarded by Paul George, finds Draymond. Draymond shoveled it over to Curry. 4.44 to go. Warriors up four. And a 19-point first half lead. Draymond and Curry play catch. Curry gets it back. Three ball, no good. Paul George gets the rebound, holds it high. Leads Bledsoe down the right side. He penetrates, throws it back on the wing. There's George, pump fake. Chest pass to Jackson. Not afraid to fire again. Swish. Top of the key three. He figured they're going to make one. I mean, they've been ice cold. 102-101. Only the third bucket for the Clippers in this quarter. Six minutes and ten seconds without any points. Curry working on Morris. Backs up behind the back of the dribble. Crossover to the left hand. Stops on a dime. Head fake. Spins. Curry down the lane to the bucket and he banked it home. He had to work for that one. Yes, he did. Not going to be denied there. 104-101 Warriors. 3.53 to go. Paul George, the cutting man, goes up. Block whistle and a foul. It's good with a bucket as Porter got a hand on it, but it went in. And now Mann has a chance to tie the game. Well, this game's had a little bit of everything, has it not? Yes, it has. It's had incredible scoring, incredible runs, incredible performances by the Stars, uh, incredible cold streaks, brutal turnovers, just a little bit of everything. And almost a uh, man makes his free throw. We'll be tied with 350 left. He does. 104 104. Both teams have had moments where they could have cashed it in for the night. Yep. They refused to do so. Draymond, front court middle. Goes right sideline to Curry in front of the Warrior bench. Bad pass to Lee, but he gathers it in on the logo. Seven to shoot. He got down to Lee. Lee backs up five to shoot. Damian Lee waits. Nothing happening. Feeds Wiggins with one on the clock. It's up in the paint. Off the rim, no good. He had a good look at it. Could not get it to fall. He is 6 for 14. Paul George, dribble drive. Knocked away by Draymond. George on the deck looking for someone. It's around Lou calls a timeout. Draymond Green, disruptive. We'll take the break. Tied at 104. This is NBA Basketball. The Warriors Radio Network presented by United Airlines. Kia is motivated to keep you moving forward by making vehicles that are more capable, more versatile, and more connected than ever. Like our upcoming EV6, with a targeted range of up to 300 miles on a single charge. We are committed to empowering the people who will take us even further by building the tools that can help you get as far as inspiration, well, inspires. Kia, movement that inspires. EV6 targeted range based on Kia estimated range for EV6 GT Line rear-wheel drive model. EPA estimates expected late 2021. Mileage will vary. 
Humanity has accomplished a whole lot so far. We created penicillin, the automobile, and the internet. Not to mention drones, duct tape, and the hot dog. It's all thanks to the power of human connections. And Ring Central's here to make that even easier, more seamlessly and securely, on a platform built to grow your business. Say hello to a whole new way to say hello. Visit ringcentral.com and say hello to possibilities. Ring Central. Message, video, phone, together. Dub Nation, this is Andre Godala. The Warrior Season is presented by Kaiser Permanente. 360 left. Warriors and Clippers. If the rest of the games between these two clubs are like this one, you're not going to want to miss any of them. Don't forget, you don't want to miss this one on October 28th. We're celebrating LGBTQ night. Presented by Accenture, joins the Chase Center as the Dubs host the Memphis Grizzlies and John Morant. They met last year in the play again. Call AAA GSW Hoop. Representative standing by. Even during this game, they're standing by waiting for you. Paul George doubled off the inbounds by his Bledsoe for 14. He shot it short and he knew it. And Draymond got kicked in the head by Bledsoe inadvertently. Draymond holding his head. He's had a tough night. He fell on his wrist. Now he's holding his head. Yeah, he's taking a beating. Bledsoe is down there checking on him. He obviously you can tell Bledsoe's got a little concern there. Didn't mean to do it. Draymond's going to oh. walk down and shoot free throws. Yeah, was he tried to swipe at the ball. And oh, he, he didn't get yeah, he got hit. Yeah, okay. he missed the ball and just smacked him right in the face. Ryan Lou, who has only one timeout left, calls his own little huddle here at midcourt and brings over George Bledsoe and Mann to probably just give him the next play call to come down the floor. Draymond's thinking, let's get this W and get out of here. Yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> Put me in the ice bath and let, leave yeah, me alone. Exactly. First free throw short. Channel Warriors was echoing throughout Chase Center. This may come down to who can get to the rim, who can get some easy shots at the rim. No shot blockers out there. Who can get to the free throw line and who can make those free throws? Both teams have been struggling from the perimeter. Draymond, one of eight from the line, now two of nine. He rattled home the second one. 105, 104. You don't know how much that wrist is affecting his free throw. Paul George brings it up. The Warriors will double. They'll throw it to Bledsoe, middle of the floor. Bledsoe, two dribbles. Hand off to Mann. Mann wants no part of it. Brimble all the way back out to midcourt. Dribbles dribbled it in the backcourt. Jackson, right sideline. Works on Andre. Down the lane. Andre ties him up. Ball goes to Morris. Corner three. Knocked it down. He led the association in corner three percentage last year. Over 50%. That's 107-105. Curry to Wiggins. Wiggins in the far wing. Jab step, jab step, drives. Now he gets blood. So takes his time. Spins. Right hand floater. Nothing there. Ball tipped by Draymond. Grabbed by the Clippers. Man the rebound. 224 to go. This is a huge possession with the Clippers leading by two. Jackson backs up Damian Lee. Rocks into a three. It's up and no good. Wiggins, a good box out. And then Man tried to get in the far corner. It's going to be Golden State ball. Point. Iguodala makes a great play, but the Clippers fight through it and get a corner three for Morris, the man they want in the court. Yep. 107-105, Clippers, Warriors have it, attacking the basket to our right. Draymond, one dribble, looks for Curry, can't get it to him. Turns, now bounce pass out to Curry, a deep three, got it, oh my goodness! About a step and a half from midcourt, gives the Warriors a one-point lead with a minute 50 to go! 108 107. Bledsoe to the cop. Left hand layup easy. And just like that, the lead evaporates. Clippers up one. Curry's now got 40. On the far wing, Igadala. Igadala at the hash mark. Dumped it to Draymond. Left side. Wants to pass. Finds Wiggins. Back to Draymond. Shot clock at five. Got to go. Wiggins the cutter. Lost the ball. There's another turnover. And that's number 21 on the night. Well, the Clippers are doing a nice job jumping out on Steph and forcing the Warriors into other options. And everyone's got to be ready. you got to be willing to score. Yeah, you can't wait for Steph. you got no. to do it. Whatever opportunity you get, you got to take it. One point Clipper lead. They've got the ball. Paul George dribbles right. Whistle on a foul. It's going to be on Wiggins. 
It'll be the first foul of the last two minutes for Golden State. Side out for the Clippers. Well, again, it makes sense, right? I mean, there's no shot blockers. So you try to get to the rim and then space out. They'll try to get to the rim, and Morris will just stand in the corner exactly where he's at now. Man will cut. Ball goes to Paul George off the inbounds pass. Takes it middle off a screen. Double feeds Bledsoe. Takes a three. No good. Rebound Curry. Curry hustles up the floor. Throw ahead Damian Lee. Back to Curry. Curry fires away. Three ball above the break. Curry knocked it down. Warriors go up by two. And the Clippers call time. Just for a second, Tommy, the Clippers just lost their yep. vision on Curry. Well, Steph passed it ahead, and what do you do when somebody passes it you ahead? turn and look. You turn and look and see where the ball is, right? Well, then Steph's running right behind you, and Steph just follows the pass. So he throws it, and then he runs after it. So he's, he's kind of coming into the backwash, and everybody's trying to pick up their man, but it's just it's not natural to see the ball go over your head or thrown ahead and then you just don't look ahead. But with Steph, that's what you have to do because you know he's always moving, trying to find that little opening, and that's exactly what happened. He passed it to Damian Lee. Damian Lee knew it was coming when the ball was in the air. He knew exactly what was happening. As soon as I get the ball, here comes Steph. I'm going to give it right back to him if he's open. He was, and he buries that three. No two players relocate better than Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. Nope. Maybe, maybe in the history of the game. That's point number one. Point number two is I've never heard the term backwash used on an NBA broadcast before. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and look, there are not a lot of guys that can make that shot because of the range, but he was fading a little bit too. Right. Like he, didn't get, he didn't get a chance to catch himself and go straight up. So he knows by the time he gets it, the Clippers are going to know what's going on at that point. So they're going to be closing back to the ball and trying to get to him. So he's got to catch it immediately and shoot it. And because he's got to run so hard to get to that spot, his momentum's naturally going to carry him forward a little bit. So to be able to adjust for that and from about 26 feet, I mean, that's such a tough shot, and he makes it look so easy. 56.8 to go. That was the final timeout for the Clippers. They don't have a timeout the rest of the way. Warriors have two. Neither team a foul to give. And nobody on the floor with more than four fouls. So nobody's fouling out on the first touch. Teron Liu trying to get the play started. Reggie Jackson lined up in the wrong spot. Mann will throw it in to Paul George. Middle of the floor. Drifting in front of the logo. Now guarded by Curry. Doubled by Andre. Ball rotated to Morris. In the corner it goes to Mann. Mann didn't want to shoot. Mann jab step on Lee. Shot clock at 12. Fades to the wing, looking, 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 finding George. George doubled in traffic, in trouble. He's tied up, goes to the corner for a fadeaway three. Missed it. Curry with the box out, got the rebound. His 10th of the night. Curry down the near side with 27 seconds to go. Dribble drive Curry, left wing Wiggins. Back up top to Draymond to Iguodala, over to Curry. He wants the ball. Curry guarded by Paul George. Low with the dribble, spins it back outside. Shot clock at five. Now with 15, Wiggins to Andre. The Draymond goes up and scores! Low left. Warriors lead by four. 11.6, the Clippers can't call time. Here comes George to the timeline. George takes a three straight on. Nailed it. Five seconds to go. They get the ball in. To Curry. Curry is fouled immediately by Mann with five seconds left. No time went off the clock. It's 113, 112. Warriors. And Kenny Atkins is saying, hey, the, the clock didn't move. Paul George, how about that shot? 29 for Paul George. What a game. This game's off the rails. Oh. <laughs> Just completely off the rails now. I mean, what a wild roller coaster ride. If you're here at Chase, if you're oh. listening at home on the road, whatever, and, and you come out of that saying, oh, I don't like NBA basketball, well, then you'll never like NBA basketball. <laughs> you should just, no, find another sport. Exactly. There's a, there's a show on, the, on the, I think, CBS Sports Channel, Curly Night in America. There Maybe that's go. for you. So if Steph makes both of these, at what point do you foul? Half court? 
There's only 4.7 left. They can't advance it. So yeah. they got to dribble it up. So I would play behind the who, who they're going to inbound it to and just let him dribble into you and then dive after the ball okay. right around half court because you don't want to let him get into a shooting motion. Here's the problem I would have with that, and here's the only problem is they've got some really smart players out there like George, and now they're going to bring in Kennard, who's another shooter. Zubat's coming in for a rebound. I could very easily have them see them up, throw the ball up the floor instead of dribbling, and now you're scrambling. Well, if they do that, I mean, then you just get on somebody and guard them. Right. Like, you only foul if it's an opportune time to foul. You don't just reach in and foul because they will rise up and they'll get you in the shooting motion. But I think that's why you play off of them. Make them throw it okay. uh, in front of you. And so I wouldn't get up and guard them close. I'd be off them 10, 15 feet, let them catch it, and then go to them. Lee comes in. Zubats, I think, will be setting a screen for somebody. He's only taken 10 threes in his career and has made one. That was last year. And you know what also is a good move? Faking like you're going to foul and pulling your arms back. Yeah. Because then they think you're going to foul him and they'll take like a 30, 40-footer. Curry made them both. 115-112. 4.7 to go. Ball loose. Who's going to throw it in? It's going to be Kennard. George in the backcourt. Iguodala guarding Jackson. Curry, sort of a safety valve there. The ball thrown ahead. Zubats with a catch to George and a foul. It's Looney fouled Zubats on the catch. 3.7 to go. That was nice. Because as soon as he catches it in the air, he can't get rid of it quick enough. That was heads up play. Luke Kennard, that, that's why Zubats is in the game. They wanted to get action because, again, everybody yep. turns and looks. Yep, exactly. Kennard threw that, by the way, with his right hand, not his left. Zubats, free throw. Front rim, glass and good. It's 115-113. Warriors out. lead by two. Yeah, and if you... What you don't want in this situation is the, you know, Vladi Divac, Robert Horry deal. Yeah. He's going to try to bang it off the back iron, I would think. Robert Horry with that shot. He does. It's up. It's tipped. It's tipped. It's tipped. It's loose. Batted down by Curry. In the corner. It goes to George. He gets the shot up. No good. It wouldn't have counted either way. And somehow the Warriors win. <laughs> Woo! Steph Curry, Damian Lee. Lee on his birthday coming through. Well, the Warriors needed him to. Paul George getting a couple of hugs from the Warriors. Wait, and tell you one thing. This Clipper team is going to be a handful. Because they'll get Ibaka back pretty soon. But Toom will be back. They'll get Keon Johnson back, their rookie. And yep. eventually, they Go, get Kawhi Leonard back. Going to be? Yeah, yeah. Based on this, they are a handful. They are a handful, yes. I mean, they're scrappy. They get after it. And that was uh, that was some some basketball game, I got to say. That was a lot of fun. Dejan Milojovic checking in on one of his protégés, and that's he beats the Zubats. He's worked with him in the past. And still, the, the coaching and learning goes on right now. Curry talking with Mike Brown down on the... Warriors bench talking strategy even before they go to the locker room. We should be getting a post-game guest here soon. And wow, what a game. Warriors led by 19. And they rally to win by two. 115-113. Stephen Curry is going to come over. 45 tonight. He's going to join us. Put the headset on. Steph, can you hear us? Yes, I can. How are, how are you doing right now? How do you feel? <laughs> feel great. Feel great. <laughs> Woo! I got to bring the energy from uh, this building tonight. And obviously, uh, you know, this type of game, very similar to uh, the opposite of what we did against them last year where we went down big, came back. But uh, it's a game of runs. Everybody stayed with it. Uh, defensively down the stretch, made plays. Uh, but we really fed off the, the, you know, the sellout crowd here. Can't tell you how much we miss it. I know you guys know, but um, it really helped us down the stretch for sure. Yeah, it just seemed like you guys were having a lot of fun out there. But, but I know it's an incredibly small sample size, but how encouraged are you about the dubs after preseason in these first two games? 
I feel like we, we obviously have a lot of room to grow, but the fact that we can uh, put together wins like this back to back to start the season, um, it means a lot about what we're building on our foundation. So that's the most optimism or optimistic I can be in terms of you know where we're where we're, where we're headed. Uh, everybody buying into how we're playing. Everybody contributing. And you know the lessons that we we, we know we have to learn because we're a new group together. You got to learn those lessons. But thankfully they're in wins right now. Did that feel like four different games in one? <laughs> it did. I mean, I went off in the first. And then next thing you know, you know we're down in the second. Uh, the third was kind of back and forth. And then you know, our second unit gave us just enough life to, to uh, you know, keep us close with six minutes left. And then after that, you know, uh, like I said, we fed off the home crowd's energy, made enough plays. Um, you know, credit to, to Wiggs, Andre coming in defensively. Uh, Draymond, not enough is said about, you know, those moments when they know how he's or he knows how he's being defended. If he's just aggressive and attacks the paint, gets to the free throw line, makes his, his, his shots in the paint, he makes teams pay. So uh, that was huge, especially in the second half. And, um, you know, D. Lee, birthday boy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, two big threes for us down the stretch. So it was huge. What about the play? I want to ask you about the play that you made with, with D. Lee in, in the one where you passed it ahead and he immediately kicked it back to you for that big three and i was telling tim the when you're a defender you see the ball go ahead you turn your head and you kind of lose track of what's behind you because you're not really paying uh, attention to what's behind you is that something you use because i've seen you do that throw ahead and then run after the ball knowing that they're not going to be paying attention to you for a split second that'll give you time to kind of slide in there and get that quick three up yeah, it, we, we preach it all the time. Anytime you can throw the ball ahead, it's almost like dribble penetration because um, you get the ball below the free throw line. And to your point, everybody has to react to that. Uh, you know, either they, they lose they lose focus on on the guys trailing the play uh, or they just, you know, are, are aggressive to, to collapse the paint. And then, you know, those trail threes are open. I trust everybody to, to make, you know, the right reads when I throw it ahead. And uh, thankfully... Uh, the timing was perfect and knocked it down. Well, you you had 45 points tonight, but you know what I'm more impressed with? You're averaging 10 rebounds tonight. <laughs> that's a, that's a go- I do got to say something real quick to Steph. I, yes, I do got to say. We talked about this. Yeah, I was disappointed uh, at the end of game one. I know you were disappointed in yourself, but I was disappointed in you for being disappointed in yourself because you did have 10 rebounds and you did have 10 assists. And I know uh, a lot of people think shooting is the thing and that's kind of your thing, but you do so much more than that. And I, I just, I thought you played a hell of a game, actually. I, I thought I, you kind uh, of discounted your rebounding and overall floor game in that game. As you guys know me, I had a high standard. I know you what do. I, what I, I tried to sneak it in right after I said I played like trash. I tried to sneak in the comment. I said I didn't shoot it well. And then I, <laughs> and then I let it ride. But that's all people heard was, yeah, I played like trash. <laughs> to me, yeah, that's what I meant to say was I shot the ball like trash, but I played great. So yeah, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, hey. message to all the kids. You don't have to shoot it well to impact winning. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank goodness absolutely. for me. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate it, fellas. Good to see y'all back. And as always, y'all can follow him on Twitter at Warriors Box. Thank you, Steph. Yes, see you, Steph. Final was uh, 115, 113. I know I say this after every time we talk with him. How lucky are we to have that guy? You know, how lucky are we to get to watch him and get to know him and get to, you know, chat with him? Just Absolutely. Crazy. The league's lucky. The franchise is lucky. We're lucky to be able to sit back and. And watch him pop for another 45 out there and do special stuff. Getting a nice hug from Reggie Miller down there. Two of the best to ever shoot it right yep. there. Absolutely. In one little package. 115-113. The Warriors have beaten the Lakers and the Clippers to open the season. Post game show next on the 95-7 The Game Warriors Radio Network presented by United Airlines. Tired of searching for sports updates in different places? The Xfinity Sports Zone gives you the ultimate sports hub experience. Find games, commentary, news, and highlights all in one place. Use the voice remote to get instant access to stats and scores. Just say, show me NASCAR or football scores. Plus, get notifications with breaking news alerts and more. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store for details. Restrictions apply requires Xfinity TV service with X1. Humanity. 